Hello and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. My name is Erosium and today we've got an awesome, awesome, awesome video for you guys. We're going to be looking at the garrison and what I do every single day on all of my alts in order to make loads and loads of gold. Now, this is not one of those videos where you get a sexy number like oh, 5,000 million trillion gold per hour no it is a very simple thing you do once per day on every alt for five minutes you get about a thousand two hundred average gold per alt per day and this can be a bit more it can be a bit less um it averages out to about a thousand two hundred ish gold per day it's really good though because if you do this every day on say 10 alts you're making quite a lot of gold there. Five minutes work each alt every day, and you don't, and it's not even reliant on the auction house. You can make gold without that, which is so cool. So I'm gonna share this tip with you guys. I did learn this this tip myself from a really cool gold maker called Drizzling Rose, and she does this trick on 46 alts and has made millions upon millions of gold just using this trick. So I'm gonna be showing you all of these awesome little tricks that you can do with your garrison just a note though guys this does take a bit of setting up so don't just think you can go into this blind and be like oh i'm gonna be able to get this done in in five minutes no it's gonna take a lot of setting up to get it to this point when you get to that point it's just five minutes per day nice and easy log in do your thing log out go play your main that's it okay guys so without further ado let's get into the video so every day i log into this character this is one of my alts that i don't really play very much uh, I grab my garrison resources. I don't have to grab that every day. I can grab it every six days. Um, but, you know, I, I grab it every day. Then I come straight to my barn. Just here. And I pick up my uh, my sumptuous fur and savage blood. And I restock the work order. That makes sure that tomorrow, when I come, I'll get my sumptuous fur and my savage blood once again. That's really important to, to be picking those up. Then I will simply pick up my work orders. Uh, you don't have to restock these work orders every day. You can do these uh, every few days, um, every four days or every five days, depending on, on if you've got um, like higher level profession buildings or if you've got lower level profession buildings, basically. Um, then I personally do these herbs. Not everyone does these herbs. I like to do the herbs every day because I have inscription and tailoring as my profession buildings the reason i have those as my profession buildings is they produce the most gold technically uh, with the tailoring building you can produce hex weave bags uh, once every four days i do believe it is and those sell for 750 gold on the auction house i typically don't sell them until i have four and when i have four of them i sell them all at once 750 gold each and you're making some really good gold there. Um, you can make them every four days because of your work orders and your daily craft. You need to make sure that you're doing your daily craft. You need to make sure that uh, you obviously have inscription tailoring as your kind of your alts uh, professions. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that you're doing this on alts where you don't really play them very much. So your professions on that those characters don't really matter. Now, you don't need to level up the professions on those characters either. That's the beauty of this trick. Um, you can just get the professions, pick up the Draenor tailoring and Draenor inscription, and then be off to the races. Okay, so now I've got the herbs. I can come back to my inscriptions just here and quickly mill up these herbs. I only need to mill, it's 12. I usually have like about 50 of these on me at a time. The only herbs I don't mill here are the Gorgon fly traps, and the reason we don't mill those is you need those to make the hex weave bags. So it's always a good idea to keep the um, the Gorgon fly traps, these ones here, on you, just so you always have a steady stream of those. Now I'm going to make a few different. I'm going to mill down quite a few of these herbs just to get a few cerulean pigments. I've been using all mine up to make cards of omens, and that was the yesterday's video. Um, but I, I felt like that video might have been a little bit too convoluted, so I'm going to be looking at everything properly today. So we've got 29 Cerulean Pigments. That should be enough. Let's just restock that. Okay, great. That took 12. 
and that's done. So now we need to do our daily craft. Let's do tailoring first. Now for tailoring, you don't immediately have the hex weave bag as your recipe. Uh, you need to basically buy the Warlords of Draenor um, training, which is uh, you can get from Ashran in Stormshield. Um, if you don't know how to get there, just ask a mage for a portal, or you can go to Storm and City, go to the mage tower, and there will be a, a portal on the left side of that, that tower. Um, if you're a horde, I'm not quite sure how you get there, but if you ask for a mage to make a portal, it should be the same thing. Okay, so then you make Secrets of Draenor tailoring. When you've got five Secrets of Draenor tailoring, you're going to make one per day, uh, which is fine because it's going to take you a few days to get everything set up with this and you won't be able to make a bag straight away anyway. You'll be needing to make that hex weave cloth. So you make yourself a Secret of Draenor tailoring once every day for five days and then you come over to this guy here and on the second page he has a bag here uh, that you could buy for five Secrets of Draenor tailoring and you can buy that hex weave bag. Now there are other bags in the auction house that you can buy, but for some reason people really like to buy the hex weave bags. It might be because it looks epic. Now assuming that you've done that, you've got yourself the hex weave bag recipe. Um, each day you're going to log in and you're going to do your hex weave cloth craft. You make that and that will give you 10 hex weave cloth and uh, a couple sorcerers of, of varieties. Um, then you will just simply go down to your hex weave bag. If you can make some, then make some. If not, then... Um, then, then don't basically. Uh, I'm not going to make it right now. I don't need to. I'm going to wait until I do my sorcerers of earth transmutation. Uh, but it's definitely a good idea to to do that every day. I did forget to just go over here to the raid post and just check what there is. It's crescent saber fish flesh. I don't have any of that because I don't really do any farming that stuff, which is fine. Uh, now for inscription, I do need to do my daily craft and inscription. Um, again, um, for this, you don't really need to make your secrets of Janor inscription. There's no need. There's absolutely no need for that at all. So we just make the war paint. That's your daily craft. And once that's made, you go ahead and you make your cards of omens. And once those are made, we're going to flip all those really quickly. Hopefully we'll get something epic. I'm hoping we will, guys. Right now, with those made, you can only make, you know, four per day, which is um, 80 cards. And we can do a macro slash macro. And these can, this can be basically as you're running around. And it's uh, hashtag show tooltip slash use card of omens slash use blood card. Okay, and then you click save. You pull it on your, your, your bar. And you can literally just press that as you're running around. You don't need to be stood still. You can literally the laps of the, of the fountain if that's what you choose to do. Uh, just really good doing this every day. Get it done. Sell it all to the vendor straight away afterwards. And then log on to your next alt. And as I say, it, it takes just, just a few minutes to do. Um, if I wasn't recording it, I would obviously be a lot quicker at it, a lot more efficient. But it is a matter of when you're recording, it's uh, kind of your, your focus more on what you're saying rather than what you're doing. And uh, yeah. So get your hex weave bag made per day. Now a little trick, if you've got an alchemist uh, on any of your characters, something you can do which is really good is check your garrison for a quest. And there is a quest, there is a quest giver that changes. Keep an eye on that. Um, let me show you. So this quest giver just here, he changes really regularly. Okay. And you need to wait until you get the lady who is basically dressed in red. And when she's dressed in red, you can basically, she's the herb quest giver. You, she's a quest giver and you give her basically a variety of 10 of each herbs of Warlords Adrenal, which is super easy. You should have those in your bags. And once you've done that, you'll be allowed to buy a recipe from her called Transmute. And you can transmute Sorceress of Water here yeah, into Sorceress of Earth. And you can make enough, and there's no daily cooldown on that. You can do as much as you want. And it's so easy to get Sorcerers of Earth across all your characters. It's just something you get from just doing things around your garrison anyway. So you will have loads of Sorcerers of Water anyway. So you can just transmute your Sorcerers of Water into Sorcerers of Earth, which therefore allows you to make your hex with bags, which require Sorcerers of Earth. And you don't have to buy it, so it saves yourself um, that effort and makes everything self-sustainable. Okay, let's just quickly sell all these cards. The cards have been sold. We didn't get any uh, any lucky cards this time, unfortunately. 
but that's just the way of things. I I'm actually waiting at the moment for this guy to turn into the right trader and then I I'll be able to get on and do my own thing. Okay, so I will be moving on to my next alt and my next alt is already parked here, ready to go. Be gonna be doing the exact same thing. Now, it is worth mentioning that if you do want to get the Herb Trader um, quest giver right here, what you can do is you can visit your friends' garrisons, and if they have the Herb Trader quest giver in their garrison, you can get the quest from them and you can buy the recipe from them as well, which saves you quite a lot of time, especially if you want to get it done right away. Now, with that being said, there are quite a few things that you have to do in terms of setup for this kind of um, gold making technique. Obviously, you're going to have to get your garrison. You're going to have to try and get your garrison to level 3 so you can increase the amount of resources you get per day, the amount of work orders that you can complete, uh, all of that fun stuff. And you're going to want to get certain things in your garrison to basically increase your efficiency of your overall garrison. Now, the way in which you do that is, first of all, first, you need to get your inscription building, level it up to level 3. Hopefully you can get it to level 3. Um, then you need to get your tailoring building. Level that up to level 3. That will increase the amount of work orders. You do. Then you need to get a bank. On this third slot. This, the reason you want to get a bank. Is that will increase the amount of work orders. That you give to your guys. And so that means you won't have to restock your work orders. Technically. Uh, until it's every 6 days. Which gives you loads of loads of time. Technically I restock every day. But you don't need to restock every day literally grab the resources and restock once a week that that's awesome then you're going to want to pick up your barn now the barn is the hardest part of this whole thing and the reason for that is you need to level you need to, an achievement basically uh, to get the level three barn you need to have completed 150 work order now i did this in a day um and the reason i basically did it so easily is because i had uh, seven different alts that i was doing this on and I was able to basically give them so many work orders that I just got the, the achievement complete because it's tracked across all of your alts. It's not just tracked on one character, which is kind of cool. So I was able to upgrade that to level three. Now, when you get it to level three, you get a quest that says, uh, go catch a, a, a deadly wolf or something like that. And you basically have to use the trap and you get a wolf in Nagrand. Just I'll show you on the map exactly where you have to go. Um, it will be, so you fly to here, and it's just down here. And you have to basically get the, the wolf down to half health. And you'll be able to trap it. When you've trapped it, you'll be given a mighty wolf age. You bring it back, and you can give it to the gentleman just over here. Homer. And caged mighty wolf. And you'll give him that, and he will produce sumptuous fur and savage uh, and sorry, Savage Blood, which is fur and Savage Blood. And the Savage Blood can be used basically by gold. Kind of cool. So if you have a trading post, like I do over here, and you can buy something called the Bloody Gold Purse, and you buy basically one for each Savage Blood you've got. I've got 12, so I'm going to buy 12. Yes, I'm going to buy 12 of these. Lovely. And if you've got an add-on called Buy Em All, it basically allows you to buy the amount that you want to. So I will right click these now and they will give me 50 gold, gold, gold. Sometimes you get 100 gold, sometimes you can get more. Um, so I'm just getting 50 gold at a time right now. 100 gold from that one. And another 100 gold from that one. And if I just show you the chat just here, the chance to see exactly the gold that I got from that. So that right there just gave me a huge amount of gold to play with. Straight away, that's kind of cool. 
So now we're sat on 1,500 gold on this character, which is fantastic. Then we just do our daily craft. It's fairly easy. We just need to break down some herbs. Pigments. Excellent. Now, whilst that's doing it, um, so it's really important to first get your your garrison buildings up to level two because level two is the the stage in which you can put followers in those buildings and when you've got followers in your buildings uh, you can increase the efficiency of your work order you know the amount that you can actually put in there so it's, it basically saves you time and effort having to work out you know how much you need for everything which is really what you're you're after right now we've got the cards of omens crafted i'm going to show you exactly where you can put your followers and we're just going to be using these uh, cards of omens on the way just so that we can flip them and kind of be efficient as possible. Now, I actually know someone who has managed to get themselves the Brutusaur mount from just doing this technique uh, with the gold making, guys. So it is one of those techniques. It's not got a sexy gold figure, but over time it gives you a huge amount of gold. Okay, so this is where this is this architect table is where you can basically um, get yourself all the buildings required, and you can kind of decide what you want on what plot. So, for example, this barn is level three, and I've got Gold Main Skinner working there. And Gold Main the Skinner is a follower that I got from Nagrand, just over here. Um, where is it? It is just around here yeah this, this tower here exactly this tower you fly up to this tower the top of the tower there is a orc holding a uh, holding gold mane in a cage kill the orc he'll drop the key open the cage and basically gold mane will give you a quest where he will say can i become your follower that's honestly how crazy crazily easy it is to do now once that's done um you just come over to your barn and supposing it's level two at least a gold main the skinner can basically start working there now it is worth noting that the barn doesn't produce um savage blood until you get it to level three so definitely definitely worth getting the barn to level three complete the work orders then upgrade the building it does take a bit of gold a bit of um, resources to get this upgraded but a lot of people are sat there and they don't want to do any work with the auction house they don't want to do any um hard work with the professions they don't want to have to go to all the old raids and do all those. They want to make easy gold each day and this is the way to do it. Okay. Now the trading post is also really good um, because it increases the amount of work orders that your buildings can hold. And that basically means that <laughs> you, uh, you only need to log in every six days technically do your, your restocking of your work orders. And just literally grab the work orders that are there do your daily craft and log out there's no need to do anything more i like to do the herb garden as well because uh, it's self-sufficient then i don't have to buy any herbs from the auction house i get all my herbs straight from the garden i actually have a herb worker as well fiona who i got from shadow moon valley uh, just over here around here there's a super easy quest line and you just do that and you can get yourself fiona she will basically get you more herbs from your work orders great uh, I was saying before, get your bank, and you want to always get your bank because this increases the amount of work orders that your buildings can hold for you, and that reduces the amount of the login, basically. Don't worry about the mines, there's no real need to do the mines unless you have an alchemist, and that that's obviously, if you've got an alchemist, it might be a good idea to start doing the mines at that point, but if you haven't, then don't worry about it. Tailoring building, you want a tailoring follower called the Pleasure Bot 8000. This is the easiest follower to get by far, in my opinion. Go over to Talador. On this island just here, I actually have a video on this. It's called uh, How to Get the Pleasure Bot 8000. Uh, you've got a quest just here. You complete the quest. Uh, it's very easy. Just kill a bunch of eels on this lake and come back, hand the, uh, the zappers into the gnome and the gnome will basically activate the quest where the robot will say, I want to work for you. Done. Then you come back over here and suppose that this tailoring building is level two at least. You can put a follower in there and that will increase your efficiency with that building. I'm going to upgrade that the second I can. I could probably actually upgrade it now, thinking on it, because I got enough gold for it. So, tailoring, tailoring Emporium. Let's go. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we will upgrade that shortly. I'll just do it in a bit. Uh, but basically, you can upgrade that. And then the Scribes building, you need Admiral Taylor. Now, Admiral Taylor is a black. He's difficult. 
He's the, he is the hardest follower to get by far out of all the followers for this whole garrison. Uh, to get him, you need to go over to Spires of Iraq. And uh, if you haven't done Lords of Drenor, this is where it can be a bit of a blank, a bit of a bit of work. So you need to make sure you start the quest chain here. And you need to do all the quests that take you down to here. Now, when you've done all the quests that have taken you down to here, um, there'll be a gentleman here called Jasper Fell. Now, it's worth noting, Jasper Fell, you can't do anything with him until you've done these quests, so do them. When you get to here, Jasper Fell will give you a quest where you need to talk to the birds and basically say, free him. And you talk to the birds, they'll free him, and he'll say, okay, meet me in Southport. You fly over to Southport, and you speak to the commander there, you create your, uh, your inn, is, uh, it's super easy, it's uh, Orders Commander, the quest is called. And you create your inn, when the inn is created, Jasper Fell will give you a quest that's to investigate what happened to Admiral Taylor. And that will take you over to Admiral Taylor's garrison just here. And you'll have to do a quest chain where you've got to kill a few ghosts there, kill a few ghosts here, kill a few ghosts there. And then finally you get to speak to uh, Admiral Taylor who is basically, uh, basically chained up. And you've got to kill the spirit that he becomes and the, the little boss behind him which is super easy. When you've done that, uh, Admiral Taylor will give you a quest to meet him in Southport. And eventually you can run over to Southport and get Admiral Taylor as your follower at that point. It takes about, I'd say, 15 minutes. If you're a bit slower, it takes you 20 minutes. Uh, but once you've got that, hey, you've got another follower forever. And it saves you a lot, a lot of time in the future. Uh, so definitely worth doing that. As I say, guys, you get about 1,200 gold from this. Little tips that I could give you right this second is uh, if you're fresh to Warlords of Draenor and you've never been here before. And you're say you're in Azeroth right now. You've got two options on how to get there. You either ask a mage to make you a portal to Stormshield Ashran, or you simply go over to Pandaria if you've uh, if you've been to Pandaria before, and fly to the Timeless Isles. So you, for Alliance, you'd probably start over here. Um, I think it's somewhere around here, and you just simply fly yourself over to this island here. It's quite easy to fly there. I've, I've flown there a few times myself. You come over to this boat just here, and at this boat, if you swim underwater just there. There's a cave with uh, an underwater cave and if you go into that underwater cave there are four seats with a blue fire. Click one of the seats, you sit down and then that will allow you to click the fire. Click the fire and that will teleport you from Pandaria all the way over to Drenor to this little island here. You'll be teleported here. It's a very, it's a little secret in the game that a lot of people don't know about. When you're here you can then just fly all the way over to Shadowmoon Valley and the quest chain starts here um, where there's a little broken ship. A little, there's quite a big broken ship. The quest chain starts there and you'll basically basically be able to unlock your garrison from there. Good little way of, of doing that. Uh, once you've done that, just you know do it, follow the quest line in order to, to unlock everything you can with the uh, garrison. And it's quite easy from there just to, to do everything each day. Uh, the best thing I would say, the best money makers I've made so far would be the... Uh, cards of omens building and just making that every day and the bags have been really good because I save up four bags each time and uh, Then I sell them at, at the same time for about 750 gold each Then the savage blood um, the savage blood. Yeah, so With the with the sumptuous fur savage blood barn That does require a little bit of work because I spend I'd say 10 minutes at once a week just logging in and flying over to Nagrand and just getting a bunch of wolf. When I've got about 70 wolves, uh, wolf cages, um, I come back and I don't do need to do it for like another week, maybe two weeks. Um, I think it was two weeks the last time I did it, so it's definitely worth doing. And every time I get about 5,000 gold, I just transfer all the gold over to my main and we buy a token. That's it. Um, when we've got enough gold, obviously. It goes really well. As long as you do this on loads and loads of different alts, you will have tons of gold. Uh, to spare and over time you'll just get millions and millions of gold. Now if you're doing this on 10 alts, um, that's what, 1,200 uh, gold per day per alt. Uh, so you're looking at 12,000 gold per day, five minutes work on each alt. And say there is like, say it's 28 days per month. Do the maths on that. Uh, 12,000 times 28 equals 336,000 gold per month. 
Now, I know I didn't say there were any sexy numbers here, guys. Five minutes work a day per character. Just saying that's some, that's some good gold. Now, let's, let's divide that by two. Say you've only got five volts at level, like, 90. That's still 168 gold. That's 8,000 gold. So you easily will get yourself your token and a bit of gold to spare as well. So definitely worth giving this a go, guys. And if you've got any questions at all, please hit me up. As I say, I learned about this trick through a really good gold maker called Drizzling Rose. And uh, definitely worth checking uh, checking her out. Uh, she has like Miro boards and she's really active on Twitter as well. Uh, but if you want to ask me any questions, I feel really experienced in doing this now. Um, having done it on loads of different alts and just doing it every single day. I will catch you in the future video though guys, leave me a comment in the section below and if you do this or have any other techniques, I would love to hear about them, let's have a chat, let's open up this, this community uh, to, to get really interactive with one another. I'll see you in the future though guys, this is Erosium, out!